hello. I've just moved my table and everything fell off it. <laughs> Cause it's so rainy today. So, well not rainy, but cloudy. So I've, hi. So I've moved it closer to the windows. And like everything fell off the table. I'm like, oh Jesus. Of course that would happen. Of course it would. Right, so today we're gonna do these one, two with the leaves, and then three little flowers. And we're also going to do these ones over here, only because there's not a lot of stitching for both of them. So yeah. Excuse me. Yes, I've just opened a Coke at 10 o'clock in the morning. I've already had a coffee and I can't really have coffee all day. Well, I can, but I shouldn't. So what I've done is I've used the inside color from these little BB leaves here that I did. And I'm gonna use that color for these ones up here. So I don't have to make a whole separate color for it. So I'm gonna use all six strands. Strands, sounds terrible. Let me just turn the music down for a minute. Cause I was watching TV before. Yeah, so these ones are quite easy. You're just gonna make a small little stitch here. Make sure to get it all the way up in there. That one's finished. And then for this one, we'll use the back stitch. I think I can only fit three little stitches here and that's okay. There we go. And I'm going to let you choose what to do with these leaves because we've done a bunch of different stitches already. You can choose to just back stitch outline them. You can do a stem stitch outline if you'd like. You can whip back stitch. You can do this funky little thing with the leaves. Um, you can satin fill stitch them. It's up to you. In the example, I just backstitched, I just backstitched them, that's it. But today I think I'm gonna fill them in because I'd like um, to have more or less white space and more color. Cause it's a bigger area. I think this will be a lot of white space here. So a couple of people have asked like, how do you choose which stitches for which areas or how do you decide which stitches to use? And for me, it's kind of a mix of um, convenience because if I'm doing this for an order, then I don't want to sit here for 10 hours when I could use a different stitch and it would take one, you know? Because obviously you want to be like paid for your time in the effort that you do, but at the same time, we have to kind of stay affordable as well. So it's like a gentle mix of what's going to look the best, but also you have to save your time, you know? And then the other thing I like to think about is um, how the stitches are going to look overall. I just cut, well, actually I had a friend to cut all of this twine for my brother's wood slices. And oh my God, the little fibers have gotten everywhere. Like you can just tell all these little fibers. Oh, and I smashed my finger, look. They're everywhere. Um, so yeah, so it just depends on what, 
what kind of look you're going for. So if there's a lot of white space, maybe you should fill them in. You can also use colored pencil and color pencil them the space in. I'm not gonna do that on this one. But that's just another option that you could do. Um, you could always outline it and fill it in with a different color. So instead of doing satin stitch with all of it, you could back stitch around and then fill it in with a different color. But we're getting to a lot of colors so far. Yeah. So you kind of want to be aware that you don't want it to be like use every single color you own because we've already used a load of colors already, haven't we? So it's just something to think about, really. I didn't mean for that to turn into like a lecture. Um, also, I would refrain from using, um, some people use one of those lint roller sticky things to get all of the hair off. I would refrain from doing that because it pulls the fiber of your actual project, all the little pieces, and it makes it fuzzy. So instead, I've gone and bought a little pair of tweezers and they're just little angled tweezers. Revlon, not an ad. And literally, before I send a piece off, I just go and just pull them off. Pull off, because obviously I have Jessie. And she's a husky mix. And they do shed a lot. Like, a lot. Like, I just swept, I think, four days ago. And I already have, we have a tiled floor. And I already have like hair balls everywhere. So I'm gonna have to do that today. So yeah, some of them are from the twine. Some of them are literally just Jesse's hairs. So what is everybody up to today? Anything exciting? Are we doing anything fun? Meg said that it's her husband's birthday tomorrow and she's making a cake for it. So I don't know if she's watching still. But isn't that so nice? And again, you're gonna wanna go all the way through really up in there and you might even have to pull it apart to get your stitches really 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 in there oh i didn't know if you just came in said hi and then was like i really need to finish this cake because <laughs> i would not blame you i'm not gonna lie cakes are in oh i bet your your house smells amazing i made banana bread on sunday like sunday afternoon and the whole house smelled like banana bread all day. And all day I was like, oh, I just want to eat all of these. And then for the last one here, because we stitched over it, we're just going to do maybe two or three back stitches like we did this one. You could just do one if you wanted, but it makes it a bit, because all the other ones are short, it makes it look a bit weird if you've got one really long one. What kind of cake did you make, Meg? Like just vanilla. And yeah, I'm going in right in the middle. For this one, you're not gonna wanna pull too hard because if you pull too hard, it will separate them. So you just kind of wanna Lay it on top. Just like that. So there's that one finished. Meg says, I'm hoping it smells like salted caramel. Mm. That's David's favorite. Like anything is caramel. He loves caramel. Right, so the last one we're doing today is this one, the yellow roses one. Got a runny nose today. I feel like 
I always do in the morning. I almost have running out of the morning. Just like a little slow dripper. Oh. I'm happy. Have you seen this stuff before? Can I sell it at, um... They sell it at Aldi, definitely. And I think they also sell it at Sainsbury sometimes. But it's this um, caramel dessert topping. So you can put it on ice cream or cakes or whatever. It's so good. So good that definitely, um, sorry, I was reading the dreamy caramel, <laughs> that we had two bottles already. And then David came home with another one yesterday. And I was like, we've already got two bottles of this. And he's like, no, we don't. And I was like, yes, we do. They're in the cupboard. So now we have three, three of these, but they're really cheap. I think they're like 89, 89p or 99p or something. But yeah, they're so good. Yeah, definitely look for it if he likes it. Seriously, like, okay, so we normally get caramel sauce from the States. And, um, hi, Carrie. David will legit hoard it. Like, he won't bring it out. Like, if we have company over, because every Sunday from, like, the end of August until basically Christmas, we have people come around and have, like, a little a dinner and pudding and snacks and we all watch American football well they do I just make dinner and then I do my work um but it's like a really nice Sunday evening and <laughs> he'll like hoard the caramel sauce and be like okay you guys can have like this one not like the good one from America it's so ridiculous it's so funny though like every time he's like mm, yeah we only get out the good caramel on like special occasions so stupid. <laughs> it does make me laugh though. So for this one, we're going to use again all six strands. So we did all six strands with this and all six strands with this one as well. And you're going to pick a darker color. So like we're going to have a dark color on this side and then another really dark color on this side. And it's going to kind of frame frame the piece. So you have all like your lighter ones in the middle and then your darker ones on the edges. But yeah, I hope you find that caramel sauce first, um, Steve, Mike. They also had some really good coffee syrup at um, Aldi like two weeks ago and we got just like one of each there was vanilla caramel chocolate I think and then like a different chocolate like chocolate and something I want to say it's like marshmallow or like something weird um, but they're meant to be like toppings for ice cream or for your coffee and they were so good and after we found them one time, we could never find them again. And I was like, man. It's like so annoying. What? Okay. Just. Meg says, tell you what I did find at my Sainsbury's. Those mint biscuits again. Oh my goodness. I'm well jealous. I love mint stuff. Carrie says, is it too early for me to be eating a hot roast pork cob? Never. It's never too early for that. I've just opened it. Oh, it's a Diet Coke. It's a zero sugar Coke. So in the States, Diet Cokes. I'll show you. They had a raspberry one, so I've, I'm trying it. I can't. In the States, um, n no... What's it called? Well, it's called Coke Zero in the States, so it's zero sugar. But here, they're all red. And in America, they're like silver and white. 
Ah, Meg said, good thing I picked you two boxes up. Girl, don't. Don't do that. You guys are too nice to me. It's going to make me cry. But yeah, so because of that, like, there's like that sugar tax or something. I'm sure that Meg will tell me because I literally, like, don't know. Something about there's a sugar tax in England now. So, like, if you go to a shop, you have to pay extra for the sugar, the full sugar Cokes and stuff. Or if you go to, yeah, if you go to a restaurant, then you have to, maybe. I don't know. I don't ever get pop ever. Like, any kind of soda. I don't normally drink it. But on a whim, I got this this Coke, thinking it was full fat Coke, and it's Coke Zero, so not that bad, is it? If I had a hot roast pork cob carry, I would be eating the shit out of it. I'm not gonna lie. Apologies for my language. But yeah, we have like. We didn't do a food shop this week because we had a lasagna on Sunday and we could only eat half of it. So we had the other half of the lasagna on Monday. And then last night, David got home late. So we ended up having a McDonald's. Naughty. Oh, man. So yeah, we've just done backstitch here. Just a regular back stitch. I will zoom in. Some people like it zoomed. Meg says, yeah, if it's a normal Coke, you have to pay more because of the sugar tax. But if you have Diet Coke, then it's a normal price. So in the States, you have Diet Coke and you have Coke Zero. And those are two different things, which I don't think you guys have Diet Coke here. I think it's just Coke Zero or Coke Regular full sugar. Carrie says it's amazing. I just got back from Hobbycraft and called our local sandwich shop. Oh, you guys are making like my mouth water. I'm not gonna lie with the, with all of the sandwich chat and cookies and stuff. Cause like I said, we like literally have no food here at all. Like, I wish you would come to America and then go to, like, Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or, like, or, like, Hobby Lobby. Although Hobby Lobby's not my favorite. But they have so much stuff. Like, if you, like, you think you love Hobbycraft. But, like, you haven't even seen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there and send you a video of just... Like, aisle after aisle of choice. I feel like Hobbycraft doesn't have a really big choice. So we've done backstitch down the top of the stems and then some detached chain stitch on each side. And, like, you can make this your own as well, so... I feel like we've done enough stitches and we've kind of like you know how to work them now yeah and because I've just finished here I'm just gonna go straight across because there's stitching there carries oh no I'm not gonna go straight across look at that look at that look at that ugh Look what I've done. Look what I've done. Carrie says, with crack crackling, applesauce, and stuffing. Honestly, I could eat it again. <laughs> Send one my way. Whew. Our friends own a pig farm. And then they do little um, events and things where you can, like, buy a pig. And they'll come with all of the toppings and, like, make it there for you. And oh my god, someone had it for their wedding, and it was so good. Meg says, I need to, it's on my bucket list. 
You can get lost for days in Hobby Lobby. Oh my God, you can. It's so big. And they have so much stuff as well. Like, so much stuff. Carrie says, I've brought, bought some felt sheets to do some embroidery on. Any tips for using the first time? Um, I don't think so. If you're going to put them in a hoop, don't pull too hard or you'll stretch it out. But other than that, it's pretty much the same as any, just like regular fabric. Not anything like special that you need to do. I guess it depends on what you're going to do. Um, this is not finished, but I'm going to do it anyways. I guess it depends on what you're going to do with it. Like, are you going to leave it in the hoop? Like we traditionally do with, not traditionally, typically do with the embroidery? Or do you want to like take it out, make it into a patch? Or do you want to, like, make a, like, a quiet book with it? I've done that before, like, for kids, where you can make a little quiet book. Meg says, I've always wanted to use a felt sheet. Let me know what it's like. She says, Carrie says, I've not decided yet. We'll stay in a hoop, though. Just bought it to try. Yeah, that's all right, then. Um, I will say it won't get, like, really flat on the top. It'll be a little bit poofy, if you know what I mean. But it's nice and easy for your needle to go in, unless you poke it in the same spot for too often. And then it gets a bit... more difficult not more difficult like loads just like just like regular fabric and Carrie says we'll do Meg they're your 50p for an A4 size in Hobbycraft are they on sale right now or, uh, or is that just their regular price I feel like that's just their regular price isn't it if they're on sale right now I might go get some because Christmas Yeah, I'm not sure either if Carrie says I'm not sure if they're on sale or not. I know because when I got, because I make the um, felt ornaments. Let me see if I have any over there. Around Christmas time. And some of the colors, they just don't have nice ones online. So I end up getting, oh, I just have like a bunny and a deer left. Sorry for making you wait. So I got the bunny. And then you can get like your kid's name down at the bottom. And the deer. And they're quite fun for Christmas to hang on the tree. You can get your kid's name at the bottom down here as well. But last year I did a ton of different ones. Like, oh my God. I did a polar bear, a panda bear, um... A penguin. Oh my god, I can't even remember all the ones I did. A brown bear. The brown bear was like by far the, like the number one seller. And then... I did some snowmen, but I only sold them at the... What's, what's it called? Like markets and stuff. And I did market. So here are a couple that like I didn't actually finish for the market. And they have little green leaves here and um, berries. And then I have to put the back on. But yeah, I did a lot of them last year. But it's so good because I can't find the right colors of felt so easy. So Hobbycraft is always great for that. Hobbycraft did not sponsor this. <laughs> it's like every time that you say a business now, you have to be like, not sponsored. I buy my own stuff. <laughs> 
But yeah, that's it for today. So today I used this one, which is Anchorcraft number 682 because I was smart and wrote it on there. See? And then the other one, I was not smart and I didn't write it on, but it's this one. And it's the same color I used for the middle of that. So there we are, guys. Day 18 finished. We only have two more days. We'll finish this one tomorrow and then this one on Friday. And then we'll be finished. Can you even believe it? I cannot. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have a, a great day. And yeah, I will speak with you tomorrow. All right. Bye.